Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini National Treasures Football. Are you ready for some football? One box, pick your team, two. From jazbeescasebreaks.com, most of you know that NT's four box cases, so we only, we only did one. We're gonna select one in just a moment. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Here on a Chew Tuesday, So it looks like Brett ended up with Last Spot Mojo with the Vikings. 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. Uh, we pulled the remaining teams out for the random number block. We did that in a different video if you're looking for that, but here are the results. We'll set that aside next to me over here. And then we got three boxes right here. Let's roll the die. Let's see which box we're going to do. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. And it's one. We're going to do top box. And we'll save these boxes for next time. The next one box break will be in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Apologies for the, the fan noise from our heater. 2019, back when they were still using those wooden boxes. I wonder if they'll ever bring those wooden boxes back. All right, nice thick box right here. Probably means, hopefully means no redemptions. As, as redemptions would most likely be expired. Anyway, so we're gonna use this blank card with the Jaspi stickers on it, just to slow play the hits, add a little element of suspense to the break, and away we go. We're gonna lead off with Michael Thomas, 67 out of 99, Saints, Eric Clicks. And we got Kevin Green. Five out of 10, RIP, I think. I don't think he's with us anymore. That's gonna to go to Carolina. That's a number block team. Carolina five, Eric Clicks. Then we got Christian McCaffrey. Panthers did 59 out of 99. Carolina, nine, is going to be for Brett. That extra spot that you won earlier tonight. We've got a colossal relic, Joey Bosa. Four out of ten. Nice colors there. Chargers will be looking for a new head coach. People have been thinking Belichick. Maybe Jim Harbaugh might be in the mix. Who knows? Chargers are a random number block team, so that'll go to Chargers number four. That'll be for Ryan H. Ryan Harold with that. Nice colors there. And we got AJ Brown, 22 out of 49, dual relic. A lot of uh, I feel like a lot of Eagles fans trolling the Titans organization for, for letting AJ Brown go for what seems to be pennies. That's the new GM from the Titans from a year ago, and then they fired Mike Vrabel. Tennessee, another team looking for a head coach. Uh, EA with the Titans. We got a trio of Raiders who may no longer be there anymore. Derek Carr, obviously gone. Josh Jacobs um, was franchise tag, so I guess he could get tagged again, I think. I suppose he could re-sign with the Raiders. I would like that, but he may not be in the, there anymore. Hunter Renfro somehow, I don't know if Josh McDaniels ruined him or something, but I don't know. I'd like to keep Hunter Renfro around for another season, see if he can get back to his pass-catching ways. All right, so 82 out of 99, Raiders, Ryan G. Our first autograph is Jay Sternberger. 60 out of 99 for the Green Bay Packers. That will be for James, James P. with the pack. 
We got the future, Dwayne Haskins. Six out of 25. I feel like there was another layer to... to... Um, I feel like there was another layer to this story. I don't know if some, some of you remember. He passed away... He, Haskins had died as a direct result, it's from Wikipedia, from injuries he has seen at around 7 a.m. Eastern on April 9th, 2022. He was struck by a dump truck while attempting to cross an interstate, Interstate 595 near Fort Lauderdale on foot. He was in Florida training with several of his Steelers teammates. His wife, who was not training, was going to call after Haskins, had run out, of, run out of gasoline for his rented vehicle, letting her know his attempt to get more. Knocked back several feet by a dump truck and either run over or struck a second time by an SUV that swerved in attempt to avoid him. But a toxicology report revealed Haskins had a blood alcohol level of 0.24 and also tested positive for ketamine and norketamine. Right, so this is where the twist comes in. According to the lawsuit, and this goes to Oliver with the commanders, according to the lawsuit filed, uh, uh, filed about the incident, Allegations claim Haskins was drugged and robbed by a group that contained one man and three women prior to his death. It also accuses the dump truck of speeding, operating carelessly and violating weight limit regu uh, re regulations. It also claims the rental truck driven by Haskins had a defect that led to it running out of gas. What's going to happen? I, I don't know if there's any updates on this case, but that was the... That was like the sort of what? Twist. And that could be a movie. Sad though. And there's uh, Terry McLaurin. Nice. Triple relic and autograph. 95 out of 99. Triple relic and auto. But what were the... I mean, there has to be a reason why they were thinking that he was involuntarily, you know, he was not voluntarily intoxicated, says, says Ryan H., how did, how did they find that out? Let me get some of that top loader dust off of that Terry McLaurin. It's on the penny sleeve, not the card. All right, there you go, Oliver. And, oh, and the book. The book is going to be Ryan Finley, 85 out of 99, rookie jumbo. Nice patch, nice autograph. There you go. I'm not sure what Ryan Finley is up to these days, but there you have it. Bengals, that's going to be for Eric Clicks. And that is that. Well, listen, no Kyler Murray, no Baker Mayfield, no Saquon Barkley, or any of the others from that 2019 class. Or sorry, 2018 is Baker and Saquon. We're just DK and Kyler, among others. But we haven't seen them yet. So maybe in the next box... I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.